Hi, I'm Nina and I'm here with... Sugar Shane. That's different. So people usually call me. They're starting to slowly call me Sugar Sean, but for a while in the come up, it was Sugar Shane. Snoop Dogg still calls me Sugar Shane. We're working on that one, but it's Sugar Sean. But, okay. Yeah. Do you, what do you prefer? I mean, Sean's my name. Yeah, Sean's your name. I feel that. like we should. Okay. But Sugar Shane Mosley. So it was like a lot of people. Was, Sugar yeah, Shane. But you're you. But now I've been knocking enough people out. They're starting to starting finally to call me Sean. Sometimes it takes people a minute. Yeah, yeah. It's surprising. You it know. Is, it is, but I get it. Oh, oh, my ring. Dude, you got my ring a ling, ding a ling, ding a ling ring. What is this? A Super Bowl ring? It's a chant. I won the belt, 2023. A little Dude, sugar that's belt. cool. It Am is. I? And I? Do you have to sage it now that I touched it? No. No. Okay. I do like sage though. I did too. I woke up this morning. I thought someone was saging our house, but it was the San Bernardino fires. Yeah, no. I woke up, took a sniff, and I'm like, hmm, Tim's burning something. That's spicy. Okay. So, let's see. I, I feel like you're the type of person that's good at everything. Yeah. No. School? Well, mm -mm. But sport-wise, I feel sport -wise. like you could have picked, picked anything you wanted, and you ended up... Fighting, and you didn't even like fighting, so how did that? Uh, weight classes. I was a little, I thought, you know, I thought maybe I could keep growing, but I ended up stopping, and I wanted to be in the NFL. Mm -hmm. Realized I'm a little guy. Weight classes were in fighting, and I was like, all right, that's something I can, I can, get, I can do. And you, like, your incentive was to, was to, like, get chicks and stuff? Yeah, pretty much. I, I, I started fighting when I was, I think, going into either freshman year. Yeah, freshman year, I think. Uh-huh. And, uh, yeah, that was pretty much the thought process behind it. I was like, chicks, I mean, I would assume chicks like fighting. Yeah. I'd give, me, I'd give myself a little bit of confidence going into high school, uh -huh. not be scared or anything of anybody. So that was like the initial kind of reasoning behind starting. Were you ever bullied or anything? I wouldn't say bullied. I, I, I would say more, I, was, I, I wasn't like confident walking around school. Yeah. Like if something popped off, I wasn't confident. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to be. But now you're ready for shit to pop off. Now I'm ready if Rob walks around that corner, it's go time. So. I heard he was like right there. No. You smell him? I don't. He's not here. I would have smelled him. <laughs> Stinky little ugly Georgian. Oh, okay. So, um, you guys see, ever see my impersonations of you? Uh, I've seen some pictures. I do. Or I feel like I do. I feel like I do a good job. I don't think I'm. Uh, I feel like I do a good impersonation of you. Talking wise? Well, so the thing is, well, maybe both. I have this um, like latex bodysuit I wear. Mm. With like abs I wear and latex stuff. sometimes too. That's good. I mean, we all gotta be safe sometimes. Mm. But I have a latex bodysuit, and I was thinking of like tattooing it. Mm. A latex bodysuit. Yeah, for abs and I like really packs and stuff. It's one th or packs. Oh, you don't have any. I'm pretty things? flat chested. Is it the cover, like the tattoos it, cover everything? No, I just it? even I just I think it's jeans. Like I'll train, I diet, I eat good, sleep good, work yeah. out. Like I don't, I just don't really got that that those, that body. Like the pec dance, yeah, you can't I can't do it? I mean, I can, but it's just very little. Well, you're a champ, so it don't really f***ing matter. The, that's the thing. It is. It is. It, but. What's the weirdest DM you've ever gotten? We weirdest what? DM? DM. Um, yeah, what's the weirdest DM you've ever gotten? Oh, God. I've gotten some some DMs, some weird ones, like yeah. some really weird ones. Yeah. Yeah. Like Concerning? What? Spicy? Mm, Interesting? More, Intriguing? Not, not like. Salacious? Yeah, more, I don't know what that means. Oh. But it, uh, some, a little bit of everything. I, I, I don't really check my DMs anymore, okay. but I but I had gotten some pretty wild ones. Before. Men, women, both? Women. But like bi, non-binary? No, just women, women. Women, women? Just some gross stuff, some... Oh, gross stuff. Yeah. I've gotten good stuff, too. Don't get me wrong. I've gotten... It's a little, like a little mixing bowl. Yeah. But I, I don't look anymore. Oh, you don't look anymore? No, not not very. I I, I try focused. I try not to be on social media nearly as much as I used to be. Okay. Um. So yeah, I don't really look anymore. But, but your podcast is popping. Podcast is doing good. We've been doing it for like six years. Very yeah. consistent. Once yeah. every week, every Sunday, recap the fights, talk about upcoming fights, mm -hmm. talk about some, shit. Mm -hmm. some some. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. What's the weirdest dream you've ever had weirdest dream i ever had i one time knocked this dude out in the second round and won a ufc belt in boston that was crazy are you conflating the two or is, <laughs> is it just <laughs> is that real no i i remember well because after you quit smoking weed you get very 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 vivid dreams yeah so i've had ah. some 
crazy Justin, dreams. you know Justin Gaethje? Yes, of course. He tells, he tells me he doesn't dream at all. Like, he's never had a dream. I, I, uh, but I think it's because he smokes so much weed he doesn't that, dream. I, 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 marijuana affects your REM sleep, and that's where you dream. So, yeah, that yeah. would make sense. But, yeah, when you get off the weed, you, see, you have some very crazy, vivid dreams. I can't mm. remember one that stood out, but I remember at fight week – in Boston, I, I take naps every day, especially like fight week, mm-hmm. like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I take a lot of naps. Okay. And I was having very vivid dreams. And then uh, the whole Aljo fight happened and Pre- just was perfect. And I kept thinking, I was like, I'm going to wake up from this dream. And I never did. So it was real. So that was not a dream. So that well, didn't answer your life. question. Yeah. No, it's just regular life. Just regular fucking life, dude. I mean, yeah. you're living the dream. I am living the dream. I really am. Um, You said something really interesting. You said... How do I phrase it? You say, I feel like I'm so present, I'm not even thinking. No, oh, that's the goal. Um, when I'm fighting, that's how I feel. Yeah. Um, when I'm in the octagon, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm not really, th- like, having thoughts go through my mind. I'm, right. you know, trying to kill this dude and trying not to get killed. So, but I think in general, that's the kind of goal to just maybe not not think, but think slower, more or less of thoughts. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Cause I, was, cause, I don't know. I guess it stood out to me because I thought it was really deep. And I don't know if you intentionally made it to seem as deep, but I feel like you did because maybe you think about it all the time. It doesn't – you do don't think twice think about, about it. it. Or maybe time. you don't think about it. Maybe it just comes natural to you. But when you said it, I was like, that's such an interesting way of phrasing being present, there being like a lack of time. So I was like, maybe being present and maintaining presence is what defeats time in general because you're not thinking about the future or the past. Oh. You're just trying to be – Time is time is a weird fucking thing. The fact that we're in Vegas again, fight week, it felt like it's been so long since I've yeah. been in Vegas, but it also feels like it was just last week that we were doing this fight. I think my last fight was against Pedro Munoz in Vegas. Mm-hmm. And it's so weird that I fought Peter Aljo Cheeto since then, but it uh, yeah, time is fucking weird, but yeah. I when don't you know. like so when you meditate, do you lose track of time or how do you I mean, what that's the goal. Like? I think uh, I think for me, it's hard to slow your mind down, especially when you have so much going on. Yeah. Um, I think it takes at least a good 10 minutes of letting your thoughts kind of wander before you can actually start to get the benefits of the slower thoughts and the actual breathing. And um, Most of my deep, the ones I actually get into, like good ones, are when I do like 20-minute naps. Sometimes I fall asleep, sometimes I don't. I just do like a guided 20-minute meditation. But about 10 minutes in, you start really kind of feeling the benefits of the, the meditation or the, the recharging of the body. I don't know how to explain it, but... When you meditate, are you, like, are you sitting? Like, like are uh, you, Sometimes, but for your the, eyes like, I lay down and just feel the breath in my belly. Mm-hmm. Just kind of play a game with my breath. Same as when I get in the cold plunge. Like, I'm just... I'll sometimes do like five inhale, out, inhale, five out, five in, five out without holds. And sometimes I'll do like three inhale, three hold, three out. Like I just play with mm-hmm. your breath. It's like having a relationship with your breath is like the first tool into meditation, I think, is kind of how I look at it. Do you think about anything? Like do you Oof. visualize? Uh, sometimes I picture the fight, see exactly how I want to sleep Aljo or Mirab. I already slept with Aljo, Boston, August 19th. <laughs> last year but sometimes i try to picture that mm-hmm. um it's mostly like if i'm trying to visualize something it's like that's pretty much what i what i go to do you journal uh, every day okay cool because i got you this well i got you two things oh Here. have you wow. ever heard of the- oh yeah i already saw it already but it, my i did see this it is it's a- sweet oh yeah i had to turn the belt around I don't know how it got shifted, but that is actually fucking beautiful. Isn't it cool? That is really cool. Yeah. A little sugar action figure. I wish. Hold on. I wish I could. I know. How did that happen? Because when I saw it originally, it was. I don't know. Can I look it. at my second gift? Yeah, you can look at the second gift. I heard a lot about this thing. It's called the shadow, like the shadow work journal. The shadow. Have work you ever heard journal. of this? A guide to intrigue. It kind of sounds lame in the front, but when you read the oh, back, it's really interesting. Like especially the okay. like this part. Which part? The, the whole part? All yeah, it's, I mean, okay. it's all pretty good. So it says, um, 
Through insightful prompts, exercises, and reflections, this journal helps you identify and work through obstacles and limiting beliefs that may be holding you back from your true potential. You'll learn to develop self-awareness, cultivate self-love and acceptance, and find a deeper connection with your authentic self. Whoa. Right that was pretty here? good. That was one breath. Yeah, me I was more impressed with what you did cool. than the whole thing. No, that is, I appreciate that. That's very, uh, I don't know. A lot of people, like, I will definitely use it. It has, like, 40,000 reviews or whatever, and a lot of people really Did you get one it. for yourself? I did, yeah. Oh, I'm scared to use say. it, because it's, like, you have to address your childhood trauma, and we're not there yet. Oh. Let me turn you this around. Childhood trauma. Ooh, yeah, I that's think we great. all do. Inner child affirmation. See? Yeah. Inner child that's affirmations right and stuff. Well, I think, uh, oh yeah, this will be fun. Thank you. Same custom fix. Yeah. My journal is just blank. I, I have, I've had journals, like the five minute journal to where it has like questions and you answer it, but yeah. I'm always, uh, always down for new things. So thank you. I will definitely use Let this. me know how that goes. I got you something. Oh no. Do you like hot coffee? That's been room town. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, no, it's but cold. thank you. <laughs> you don't drink coffee? No, I do. I drink, I drink thank like you. eight or nine cups a day. Actually? Yeah, unfortunately. How do you make it? Where do you buy it? Uh, I make it myself. With what? Like drip? Just like a regular drip coffee? I do the regular drip coffee and then just like with oat milk or uh, my normal drink is a latte with five shots. So I drink like maybe three of those a day. So like 15 shots wow, a day. Wow, that's a lot. Two. Do you ever make like AeroPress coffees? Or? Mm -hmm. AeroPress. Oh. Ah, yeah. You like the AeroPress, yeah? I love the AeroPress. Do you do French press? I just do AeroPress. I've done a French press, but I'm AeroPress guy. I used to AeroPress, but I I always want more than one cup of coffee. Mm, so it's not enough. Not enough. And it gets cold too fast. So you're addicted fast. to drugs Once is what you're, you're saying. Put, well, you know, we all... No judgment, just saying. That's what you're saying. Our, well, no. So when I was younger, they used, I used to take a lot of Ritalin. So mm. now the caffeine kind of just le levels me out. How old are you? I'm 35. 35? Are yeah. you really? Yeah. Oh, wow. You look like you're 26, 28. That's well, better than 55. Yeah. So... Not that there's anything wrong with yeah, 55. No. We love 50. They're more wise, probably. Probably. For sure. Maybe not. I mean, sometimes... Depends where they're at. If they're a homeless, they're probably not. Well, actually... I mean, they've probably seen a lot. Yeah. You know? They, maybe a shadow work journal is in the works for someone. Yeah. Yeah. No, absolutely. Noche UFC is going down in Las Vegas this weekend, and I am pumped to see who comes out on top. I've partnered up with DraftKings, and they have an offer that's perfect if you're looking to get closer to the action. Right now, all new customers who bet $5 will instantly get $250 in bonus bets. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and sign up using my promo code NINA. The crown is yours. Okay, so we got the main event. We got Sean O'Malley, a striker, versus Marab the Machine, who's a grappler. We've got the champ going up against Marab, who we all know is incredible at grappling, incredible at wrestling. His jiu-jitsu is, is so good. His stamina is out of control. We've got third time to charm, Alexa Grasso versus Valentina Shevchenko. Can go either way. And then we got the jiu-jitsu chess match of the century. We've got Brian Ortega versus Diego Lopez. Let me know who you got down in the comments and who you're betting on. Remember, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use promo code Nina. Who does someone people say you look like? Oh, what is it? I don't know who it is, but I always get it. Um, Andrew Garfield, is that a person? Andrew Garfield. Is that a person? Oh, yeah. Spider-Man. Spider yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, I can see it. You I look get like that. Do you do? You look like Spider-Man. I do get that a lot. That's pretty much the only one. Sometimes I say Channing Tatum. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, that one I get. Um, I see Spider Man. I didn't, I didn't think of that before. Yeah, yeah. I, you look like Spider Man. Do, yeah. you, do you think like um you could beat Tom Hardy? Be him or beat him? Be, like beat him? Like if you were, let's say he just wanted to start wrestling. You know, because he does jujitsu. Yeah. <laughs> like, how do you feel like you guys would compare in a match? Um, it I mean, it depends. Is he just a crazy? I know he does jujitsu, but is he yeah. a black belt? Is he's he blue, but he's very belt? good. Okay, well, I should be able to be a blue belt. Yeah, <laughs> just checking. But I mean, uh, yeah, good for him. He's also a movie star, so he should, probably he's shouldn't be me. Yeah. Dude, Bane and Spider Man. Yeah, I didn't know that. I'm not a big movie guy, so I didn't really know what I was. What everyone was like, wow, that's crazy. And I was like, you're kind of like know. your own version of Spider Man. You're just. I have a lot more fucking super powers than Spider Man. Spider Man is not fast. <laughs> They can't really fight either. He just, he just wears like a latex suit. Jizz out of his arm. Jizz wrists. Yeah, It's kind of disgusting when you think about it. Is that, I think that's what it is. I wonder what that suit smells like. Mm. What Spider you... sperm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Anyway, what? 
When you were younger, did you ever think that you would be like a, like what was your superhero? I, I remember being, it was like literally four years old, five years old, it was like a Batman. I remember thinking like Batman was cool, but then I really didn't watch superhero stuff ever yeah. after that. I don't even really know, is Batman a superhero? Does he do anything superhero-ish? I think he's just like the ultimate vigilante. He just has like the Batmobile, like he can't fly, can he? Batman's kind of a dumb name if he can't. Batman? Maybe it's like, kind of lame. It's kind of like, um, I'm not intrigued. Like Batman, because especially after COVID, I'm yeah. I'm not that intrigued. <laughs> yeah, well, bats you know? fly, and he can't. And he can't. So it's like that's a dumb name. What's your most morally gray stance? Do you think you have any? What would be the de what would what do you mean like? For instance, murder. Do I think it's okay? Are there circumstances where like murder's okay? If they're found guilty, I mean it's tricky because a lot of people aren't. The pro like there's a lot of people in prison for certain things they haven't done. Yeah. But they're found guilty of it. So if there's like evidence that le like ties you to it a hundred percent, it's like you might as well get them out of here instead of feed them and shelter them. If it's like spend all of our tax mean? dollars it's on like, them. You know? Yeah. Ooh. Fuck that. It's like yeah. three hundred thousand dollars a year to keep someone imprisoned. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be the one to have to kill the person, but I wouldn't be opposed. Oh, to Oh, like it. the um, what's it called? The not the Reaper. What's it called? No, the in murderer. Prison, the what's it called? Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, the executioner. The executioner. Executioner. <laughs> executioner. That's the word I was yeah, looking for. Yeah, I wouldn't for. want to be that guy. That would be. Uh, he needs a shadow work journal. He needs. Yeah, he probably. <laughs> that would suck. That's brutal. Even just working with dead bodies would suck. Like a morgue. Yeah, my dad. He was a cop and detective in Montana, and he had to work with a yeah. lot of like messed up people, like child molesters and stuff and he yeah. said it was just so hard even interviewing them and being around them they're just so messed up people oh that would suck gotta get him out of here yeah um do you think you'd ever be friends with an opponent um i don't i mean what what like a good friends like we hang out friends like play call of duty friends or just be friendly like mm -hmm. so maybe like like snapchat friends oh I don't know. I'm trying to. What, like, what, what do you, what's the like definition a, of a friend? Like, what if you guys. Not maybe not as close as like Marab and Aljo, but like, okay, the way that Strickland and Pereira became friends after they fought. Um, you just kind of keep it. I just. I have such a good group of people around me that it's like I'm not small. really trying to add someone yeah. to the group, but. I mean. Friendly, friendly's fine. Like I, I would say, I, I would be friendly with Cheeto now after that whole the fight's over and everything. Yeah. Like I don't mind the guy. Aljo. Aljo. I feel like there's still this thing because of the Marab situation, and he's still so bitter about me knocking him out August nineteenth at Boston last year when I won it's the 2023. belt. Twenty twenty three. Yeah. Twenty twenty three. Yeah. Yeah. So he he's still bitter about that. And yeah. So I don't think that's very you know friendly. Yeah. Peter. Peter. He's a little dork. I don't. There's just he doesn't even speak English, and he pushed me at way in. So it's like I don't. We're not friends. He pushes a lot of people, you know. Yeah, it's not. It's not cool. I mean, we're gonna fight in twenty four hours, forty hours, whatever it is. Like we get yeah. a fight soon. Like don't let, push me. Yeah, it's you gonna you know it's not cool, but it's also short man syndrome, insecurity. So yeah. I you know it happens. That little energy he can't control it. And he just it has to go somewhere. So it pushes. I it's fine. Spider jizz. Mm. Um, what do you think of power slap? Next question. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I love Dana, but. <laughs> it used to be vegan? I did eat a vegan diet for six months. How and uh, Why do you think you went, went back? Well, I'll tell you why I went vegan. I got f***ing brainwashed on a goddamn Netflix documentary. It got oh. me. I was, you know, I'm 21 years old. I never, and I'm like, it got me. It got you. It got me. Yeah. You know, no, I don't... Uncle Emron right there, he's vegan, and, you know, I respect it and appreciate it, and it is it is what it is, but uh, f for me, I did it for six months. I fought my UFC debut, mm -hmm. vegan, and I just didn't have what I felt like I needed, the f***ing pop, the energy. I feel like I was doing a good job eating and supplementing yeah. and doing what I needed to do, but for me specifically, everyone's different. I feel like I needed some good red meat in uh, in my diet to perform at an optimal level. But you're vegan, yeah? Yeah. How long? 14 years. Wow. For what? Morally or for I think nutrient? we watched the same documentary. 
No, what was that called? <laughs> Earthlings? Is it Earthlings? I don't... Forks over knives? There's a yeah, bunch of them. Forks over knives. Yeah, yeah. Was. esoteric agenda. But why I mean, do you continue to be vegan? What's your... I have, is it a moral I just have thing? No, um, yeah, I have no desire to, to eat. Because of the eat animals it. getting hurt? Pretty much. So I, would you eat so, an egg from my chicken? Because the egg's not ever going to be... It's not... The rooster didn't f*** my chicken. It's not going to be a baby chicken. It's literally right. just an egg. So would you still not eat that? And for And if so, why? I think, like, uh, for instance, when people hunt and kill their own food, and then, you know, they skin the animal and they use the animal, and then yes. But, like, mass killing of animals for... What about my egg? My chicken egg? I have chickens at home. They lay I eggs. Mean, eggs are kind of f***ing gross, dude. You don't like them? Just the smell is... It's just like a chicken's period, you know? I mean, the thought of it's not... It's kind of runny But if someone made you nice scrambled eggs... It's kind of... Like a with some cheese, like a, like Oof, a little scrambled salt, fetus pepper. with salt and pepper, or a runny egg on some. On a, you know what I like? That's weird. Yeah, I like a nice piece of toast. Nice toast. With a nice layer of peanut butter Pe- and a runny don't egg. Don't put egg on, on peanut. That's oh, that's it's incredible. weird. It honestly that's is. That's not right. No, that's criminal. It's delicious. Peanut butter and eggs. Pe- runny egg. Runny Ooh. eggs. And I'm cutting weight right now. It sounds so good. What is it? Chunky peanut butter? No, just a nice little layer of creamy. Creamy, like Jif, creamy Jif? Not not Jif. Nice organic quality peanut butter. Not some shit Jif, great value. Mm. But uh, some nice quality peanut butter with a nice quality bun. Y huevos. Mmm, que rico. Mmm, muy que rico. I mean, to each his own, you know? Yeah, true. Okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you rate yourself as a fighter? 10. So, okay, yeah. I got room. I got room to improve. I'll say it 8.5. 8.5. Do you think other fighters would feel the same? Um, I feel like other fighters would say eight. I'd say other fighters would say eight, if I had to guess. Eight? Really? I mean, like, you... Okay. That's kind of low. I mean, I'm very humble. I... I are you? Very. <laughs> I ask a lot about aliens. I talk a lot about them. Because I have a lot of encounters with them. Have about you ever what? had any... Aliens? I've never had any. Uh, I love every time Joe Rogan has anybody on that talks about aliens. Yes. I, those are my favorite episodes. Yes. And then I always go down a rabbit hole on YouTube and try yes. to find the crazy sightings. And supposedly we have such, we have 4K yes. video yeah. evidence of mm-hmm. aliens and crafts and all this stuff. And the government just won't release it right now. So I am very fascinated about that subject. They, they fly above my house every night. In Henderson. I live all the way in the back. Every night? Every night. There's lights every those night. Those are airplanes. They're those are airplanes. Well, let's just say they were to invade, and you needed to assemble a team of three fighters. Who would your three fighters be? I'm a traitor. I'm going to the alien side. <laughs> I'm on their side. <laughs> they are, first. They're here. <laughs> I'm on their side. You're moving over? Yes. Even if they don't speak English? What if they were all just like little Peter Yuns? Oh, God. So, I mean, they kind of probably would be. They're just little guys, like little little <laughs> ugly. He does kind of look like an alien. <laughs> you put that on, out there. They probably have similar hairlines, just like <laughs> way back there. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Maybe I'll stay and fight the good fight. Fight the good fight? Yeah. We'll take- I feel like Tim would be on your team. Uh, Tim won't. Tim wouldn't get off the couch. If there was an alien invasion, he would. Oh, sn- no. He would watch. TLC, whatever show's on, with a fat tray of steak, a nice little cheese platter, some fruit on the side. He'd be sucking on his vaporizer, his little mighty, getting higher and shit, watching his show. That's what Tim would be doing if there was an invasion. So just you? No, I would, uh, yeah, I mean, I just don't think there's much, there's, I don't know if you KO an alien or is there, do they have brains? Do they shut off? They don't probably have brains because they got here. Which would be... I feel like they might be a little smarter than us. Yeah, but can you knock out one? Bro, I don't I don't know, but, like, you'd have to find out, no? Boom, you hit one. What if it makes it mad like a bee? And then, mm, Bro, what if you. they gave you the champion of the aliens? I probably would be. And you... No, you had to fight their champion. Um... That's good. I mean, I would... I would do what I could. I mean, I'm, I would be more confident against Marab than an alien. It's because I've never seen any footage, fight footage of them. I don't know if they ever get tired. Yeah. I feel like if I hit one, it just like would just like absorb it. Yeah. Just melt into its face. Yeah. So that'd okay. be tricky. But I would. It's a great answer. Not look forward to fighting an alien. Okay, and that's my interview with Sugar. Do you want me to say Shane or Sean? You can say Sean. Sugar Sean O'Malley.
If Why you say Shane, Shane oh. everyone will comment, it's Sean, and you'd look stupid, so you could. Well, the thing is, people, I don't know why people can't spell Sean right. Everyone spells it with an S-H-A-W-N. I don't know. Sean? I mean, that's how it sounds. Yeah. Sean. So it makes sense. Anyway. It's S-E-A-N, so it's like Cian. Sugar Cian. That's what some people say. <laughs> Cian. Mostly Mexicans, though, because they don't have, like, the out, like... Yeah, yeah. Cian? Like, see? See? Sugar Cian. Sugar Cian. Azuka Cian. I watch this fight this Saturday. UFC Noche 306. Anything else? <sighs> Gracias, mi amigos. Para la familia. Ah, <laughs>